going to hit him or are you going to leave? Rub his belly. Okay. Not down there, by his chest. My chest? Oh. There's Christian and Ellen Aslan. Ellen Aslan. And Christian. Stay still. A four month old cat. Oh, he's trying to get away. See, Christian? You're not petting him. I was petting her until, until I get a lumpy, but I was going on my hand. You're squeezing him too hard, too. Oh. Aww. No. He's not like, heavy at all. Call her. Hi, honey. I don't know if he'll like me here. I hope he does. Yeah. He will. He will like me. Aww. Oh, yeah, I think we focus on it.
and time to make a star chosen to point the way to Jesus. <laughs> you are all special, and you all point the way to our loving God, and now one of you will point the way to Jesus on earth. <laughs> I have the envelope right here. <laughs>
for you. Hey, me too. We're all happy for you, Chrissy. It couldn't happen to a brighter star. Yes, uh -huh. I know, I know. I'm so <laughs> reckless. I'm just making this far for me ever totally go ever. Misguided. <laughs>
this wonderful opportunity I've been given is all about pouring the way to Jesus. And I can understand that, but what about me? Wasn't I just, <laughs> wasn't I just because I'm such an awesome, extraordinary, spectacular star? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are beautiful. God made all stars that way. But did you know that he created each one of us for a very special purpose? The word? Yes, it's true. Why, even your name means that God created you for a specific thing that will bring glory to him. My name? Certainly. Remember that God counts the stars and names each one. We were each given special names. We were given gifts to fulfill a unique purpose. Your name, Christmas, means Christ Festival, and a festival is a joyful event, a party. Wow, that's cool. I always thought it was just another ordinary name. I didn't know it meant anything special. Very special, just like you. Not because you're shiny and bright, but because you were specially created by God. Chrissy, if you shine down on Jesus, people will come to him and worship. You must be a lead worshiper. Worship Jesus from your heart and let the celebration begin in you. Come on, everybody, let's show her what we mean. <coughs>
they came and worshipped Jesus. I just focused on Jesus, on worshipping him. And people came from far away to bring him gifts. They came and worshipped Jesus with me. I'm so proud of you. Chrissy, you have accomplished your purpose. Now that Jesus has been born, the world will be different. People on earth will know that a Savior has been born. The one who gave up heaven to come down to them. And they will remember the star that pointed the way. All I can want to do is help people see Jesus. I know. I feel that way too. We were all made that way. Did you know that God says that people can shine like stars? They can? Yes. He says those who lead many to righteousness will shine like stars forever.
Wow, that was amazing and awesome and exciting. You guys yeah. did an awesome, amazing job. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. So I won't step on anyone's fingers. Um, we just could not end this Christmas Star production without giving you an opportunity to accept the greatest Christmas gift ever. And so if you'll bow your heads with me for just a moment. I just want to take this opportunity to ask you if there's anybody here today that has never invited Jesus to live in their hearts. You see, Christmas is about love and giving, and if you don't have Jesus in your heart, it really doesn't have the same meaning. And so I just want to ask you if there's anybody out there that would love to accept him in, the, in your heart for the first time, or if you've been away from Jesus and you want to ask him to come back into your heart today and renew that for this Christmas, then I'd just ask you to raise your hand right now. Thank you, Jesus. I just see those hands, and for those of you that have raised your hands in Jesus' name, we're gonna, I'm going to ask you all to repeat this after me. Father God, Father God, I thank you for sending your son Jesus. I thank you for sending your son Jesus to this earth. To this earth. As a baby. As a baby. And we just thank you, Father, that he grew up and died on the cross. And we just thank you, Father, that you grew up and died on the cross. For our sins. For our sins. So that we can live. So that we can live. A glorious life in heaven. A glorious life in heaven. And we can have an awesome, amazing Christmas this year. And we can have an awesome, amazing Christmas this year. With Jesus living in our hearts. With Jesus living in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Wow. And of course, a production like this takes a lot of work, time, energy. As you can see, they did amazing. Let's give them one more. The job of the director of this kind of production is a big job. And so, Mrs. Pamela Blatnick, I'm going to ask you to come up here. Pam's right hand woman 
She's done everything she asked her to do and so much more, so we appreciate her. And um, also, Sandra, would you? I, she has been our sister. She put together all the costumes.